Hello, hello, my friends. I'm working here trying to get a tripod um, in the right place. <laughs> Bless your hearts. Every time I'm on here trying to do something, it gets a little crazy and I get, yeah, I get some stuff in the way. These are... Uh, old greeting cards from several years back um, and I am I just found them I'm trying to um, get everything in the screen yeah so these are just some old cards that I found when I was going through my um, Christmas card box and here we have oh my goodness guys let me get this to focus a little better ah uh, yeah maybe we need some light on the subject but I really didn't want to mess with the uh, finding a flash so here we are and my tripod is falling. This is probably going to be a pretty cracked up um, video. But I'm, I'm glad you're here. Let's see what we can do here. Even in the shadow, I have a small Christmas card. And it's, it's not... Um, much bigger than five inches tall and the width hello sweet tina welcome in darling and i'm going to just take this card whoa uh perhaps i need to work on this tripod seriously it's given me some grief mm. god bless you all for putting up with me and all of these crazy tripod actions that don't work part of the time. I'll just say that. So I have you guys um, in a tripod. And I'm just going to show you how to make some adorable little um, Christmas card boxes. Um, upcycling your your Christmas cards from years gone by. Um, I'm going to find one that's already made that I thought I had with me. Oh, there it is. There it is, people. I'm excited. I found it. Woohoo! Okay, give us a second. We'll get back to the place where we started maybe this tripod sure doesn't like me how's everyone doing tonight this is dora that yarny zebra trying very hard to get things to focus okay here we go oh goodness look at this one this one is made out of a santa claus christmas card it's adorable it is just a Christmas card that has been recycled or upcycled into a cute little keepsake box. Now I'm going to open it and see if we can see what's in it. Um, but I also picked up these while I was pilfering around to find the beautiful um Santa box. I picked up this um, interesting uh, zip tie because I'm going to zip tie my tripod to um, sit up and pay attention. Y'all okay with that? I don't know. It just is getting very, it's aggravating for me to try to do a project and my tripod wants to uh, twist and tangle and make a mess so we'll see what this does here I'm gonna try real hard to keep it 
there we go maybe that will show you a little bit more of what we're doing please forgive me okay and I've got it nice and tight and it's still trying to wiggle okay so here we have this adorable little box that was made out of a Christmas card. So, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to make uh, ourselves a, a little cute box like this. And I'm going to use this card here. But first things we need to do, just take your card and crease it. Mother Bays is not with me. She is at my sister's because I will be going out of town in a few days. So, yeah, this is getting ready to come into to pieces. And if you just fold it on the crease a few times, it will happen right where you want it to. Just do it gently. There we go, we got two parts. This part will be the bottom of the card. And I absolutely love to try to fit this exactly in the center of the bottom. Does that always happen? No, but that's a good, uh, that's a good, place to try. This one, of course, is the top. What we need to do is square this card up. You will not be able to see Enjoy the Holidays because um, this is going to be in the fold up of it. And can't we be able to see that? So we're going to square this card up, which means I'm going to um, make sure that it is the same length all the way around. My big deal is it needs to be, yeah, it needs to be right here with the inches going on. And I know that I'm on the other end, so I'm going to have to switch so y'all can see what in the world I'm talking about. Bless y'all's heart trying to follow along with me. So I'm going to square this card up. It doesn't even uh, come to five inches. Hello. Welcome in. I'm trying to get my tripod to pay attention and do what it's supposed to do. Just a little struggle. That's what's going on here. Just a little struggle. So check this card out. It has to be squared off. Absolutely. I'm going to square it off. We've got just a snippet right here that has to go. Um, no, let's just go with this. I'm going to take this card and put it over the other one. And we're going to just use our little cutter and I do have the one that I use for sewing somebody's like please don't don't use that that's the one for fabric I know it is the one for fabric but this is how we're going to get this trim tonight because I am just going to come right down this lane and trim that get it nice and uh, ready I did not get all the way through it I am using this rotary mat and I love it I've had it for a long time and yeah it is it works just fine for me does, does the job so 
I'm still battling with the tripod, you all. Please forgive me. Okay, so we're going to get our card trimmed real good. Oh, we got a little pinch right here. And yeah, we're going to take care of that. I do have a pair of scissors with me. Okay. This card has been squared off or squared. And you just check it. It's the same on both sides. But this little card right here, this bottom part, needs to be smaller than the top. This is the top of the card. And this is going to be um, the bottom of the card. So you're just going to take and you got to square this. A smidge a smidge smidge smaller just a smidge I'm gonna turn it like this and this is perfect because it is just a smidge already because this one you can see the difference the top one is already bigger than the bottom so just gonna Go with that size, but I want so much for this to be the area that I can work with. You guys know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, I want this to be, um, I want this to be visible. It, it might happen, it might not. We will see. We will see shortly how well that works. Absolutely. I'm going to use this box here to uh, hold this down nice and firm so that I can do my cutting without having to stress over anything moving. So I just trim that. That is some beautiful paper, you all. I love it. I can see my line, but I am not doing so well. Is it buffering on your end, anyone? Are you getting buffering? It sort of doesn't want to work on my side for some reason. Okay, we're getting there. This is really, oh, it's good, okay. I am, I am so thankful that you're following along with me, sweet Tina, because I, I am, I was having a very lonely moment without Mother Bays. <laughs> no kidding. Like, literally, today has been um, very, very, how can I say, um, it's been a lonely kind of day, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's been really lonely, so I'm going to get this to be right on the edge here, too. It does appear that I need to use uh, a sharper cutter because this one Oh, it didn't. It worked. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so we got that. Hey, how are you, Arnie? I'm doing some cute, cute little keepsake Christmas box right here made out of an old Christmas card. This is so fun. Thanks for the thummy, Arnie. Thanks for the thummy. Glad you're here.
I'm glad you're doing good. Yeah, just, oh, I'm really missing my mama, so it's crazy, but that's part of, part of the anxiety separation. Mother was just really, really, um, sad on the phone with me tonight when we were talking. She goes, you know something? I said, what, Mom? She goes, I sure miss you. I thought, oh, boy. <laughs> the feeling is so mutual. I'm sure, Arnie. I'm sure. And I, I, I apologize for even complaining because my mom is still with me. I just am. I'm just having a little. Uh, I, I, you know, when someone is in your life and they have been so important in your life. Do y'all see me what I'm doing here? I've got my, I've got my little um, card top let me turn it around top bottom card bottom and i am going from point to point i've got this over my new table covering because i don't want um, to cut my uh, tablecloth that's Christmassy over there, so yeah. So this little card is getting a big cross X in the middle of it. It's just to guide me to bring the points. These points are going to be folded onto this one, and before I do that, I'm just going to measure. Um, I'm going to measure this and make sure that it is just a smidge smaller, just a smidge smaller than the other side, uh, the other piece, because it's going to be the bottom and this is going to be the top. It's going to be the lid. Okay. All right. Now, let me try to get this straightened out again. Y'all don't laugh. I have my phone strapped into a tripod using zip ties. There you go. You saw it here first. Probably not. Other people may do that. So here we go. We're going to do the same with this one. We're just going to get our center point lined up. And then returning, put you guys back in the camera here. The tripod is, hello Maritza, how are you darling? Oh, I need to see a picture of that Arnie. You going to do a video? Are you going to do a video of your um, village? Oh my goodness. Here's the question. Do the kitties get into that business and cause a problem? I know you have kitties. Mm. Do they act up and get in your Christmas stuff? <laughs> it's a good question. Mm. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to bring these points into this very, very center here. And... I'm watching what I'm doing through a tripod. So, <laughs> oh, Arnie, they flatten trees. Now I've heard it all. Okay, we're going to get that point right there. The point is there. So I'm just going to use the back of my pen to flatten this out turn your work 
and bring in this piece. And you can fold it, you can make sure that you're getting it right into the point. Oh guys, it's raining here tonight and I feel it in my bones. I know that's crazy, but I feel it in my bones. Feel it in my bones. So this one, I'm going to pick it up and put it there. There we go. It's in this center. This is even Steven. This is even Steven. And you just continue bringing your points up to the very center. It almost looks like a little envelope when you do this. I'm sorry. I took you way out of the camera. Thank you, Larnie. Mm. It does look like a envelope. It's not. It's the lid. It's the lid to a small, tiny little box that we're working on. I'm just going to get this up in here. Oh, focus, baby, so everybody can see. This piece has to go right in the center. Okay, let's make sure we're in our spot where we need to be. That's close enough, you all. That is looking, that is looking good. Okay. All the points have come to the center here. I'll take it loose so you can see where we are. All the points are in the center. Okay. Just going to mash and smash them down. I don't have a, a smoother, a smoothing bone thing that other people use. <laughs> but I do have my pen. This would probably work too. Let me. Yeah, that works good. Yeah, there we go. We're just going to work that down. I hope everyone is, is doing well. Now you know what's getting ready to happen here. This one is going to do the same as the other. We're going straight up to these points. This is a uh, recycled Christmas card, guys. You just put that right there in the center. Hold it. Uh-oh. Get back up there, darling. Yes, this is a... It is a time-consuming little project, but I love to make miniature Christmas ornaments out of these. You can put them on your tree. Um, this one has just stayed a keepsake box. It has not um, been turned into an ornament. And the way you make it into an ornament to hang from your tree, you thread some colorful uh, twine through here and make a, a loop, a hanging loop. So yeah, that's what you would do with that. Okay, these two sides are together. I'm going to get the other ones up in here. right to the center. I'm going to hold that down with my finger. I want to make sure we're doing it just so. I'm going to go ahead and get this other side up. This is going to be the bottom of the little trinket box, keepsake box that we're making. Here we go. How's your mom, Arnie? Okay. 
Okay, we got all of our points in the right place. I'll turn this over. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Oh, my goodness, guys. I think that's going to be very close to being centered. Oh, my. I'm excited. Okay. Oh, sorry. Moving you guys with me every time I move. Okay. So, what we are needing to do now is just fold it. Fold it right down the middle. Fold it and bring the edges together. Fold it in half. Fold it in half. You know, this is step. I didn't even come on with what step is what. Okay, but this is step number Probably three, four. Mm, goodness. Oh, good for your mama. I'm so glad. Praise God. Uh, mama is, uh, she is at my sister's because I have a, um, I'm, I'm taking a little mini vacation down to Louisiana to see my grand and my daughter and son-in-law. Okay, so what we have is we have folded front and back. You fold it this way, unfold it, turn it, fold again. Um, I'm flying down on the ninth. I'm flying down on the ninth. Okay, guys, I'm excited about this little card uh, turning into something different. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is so going to be fun. We bring this up to the very center. Let's get our center lined out. I'm thinking that's it. Oh yes. Turn this one. Come into the center again. Gotta make sure I didn't leave any loose edges or anything. Okay, and you can unfold that. Unfold it. Do the other side. There we go. And this one. This is the back of the box. I know, guys, this is the back of the box. Somebody taught me how to do this um, several years ago when I was teaching first grade. Um, one of my first, one of the other first grade teachers showed me how to do this and it stuck with me but it's hard to tell someone else how to do it okay you're going to take your scissors you can see faintly the little indentation where it was folded you're going to see that line you're going to take your scissors on that line just go up until you reach that go up and you got this little bitty corner it looks like it's a pinwheel but it's not okay you got that side done get your scissors up in here very carefully make sure you're on the right spot and there you have this one okay and turn it around Keep everything folded if you can. Turn it around. 
and bring your scissors right up here on this indentation. The same uh, way you did the other one, I'm sorry. And just trim it until you get to there. Oh, Ashley, I know. My granddaughter was doing the countdown. Uh, she was sending me pictures of her holding her fingers up for how many days it will be before Mimi comes in. Okay, guys. All right. I hope you are seeing what's happening here. I'm going to get my little pinwheel parts. Yes, he will. Um, he has someone that's going to come and stay and take care of him while I'm gone. Okay. Let's look at our little pin points here that we cut. You take and pick them up and bring them in. And you take this one and you put those two. Hi, sweet Sandy, how are ya? Oh girl, I've been so busy, you know. I've been so, so busy, absolutely so busy taking care of mother, so um, I don't get to film as often as I did with her. She has my full undivided attention most of the time. Okay, guys, let me show you what just happened because I was talking. But you've got your two um, edges that you cut up to that point. And you just, these are going to make your box things. Yeah, you're going to, the edge of your bottom of your box right here. And then you take and you fold that. Oh, look, guys, it's, it's starting to be a box. Look. It's starting to form the bottom of your keepsake box. This is your little box that we're making. Okay. Now, this is the side that we did over here. I'm going to fold those little pointy things up, crease them nicely, pull out this center part. Put these two together just like I did on the other side. Fold that down. Okay, guys, are you ready for the bottom of the box? We've done the bottom of the box, guys. Hold that still for a minute. Well, you know you, um, oh, I'm sorry, Arnie, I don't have, um, I'm on my cell phone, which does not let me put you as a um, moderator, and I'm so sorry. You know, I have not, I'll be honest, I have not turned on my, I have not turned on my uh, Chromebook in four Ever. It seems like it's been forever since I turned on my Chromebook and I just don't have the time to do it. But Sandy, you can drop your link if you want. Yes, Ashley, honey, I definitely look, guys, what I uh, you didn't see what I just did. I'm sorry. I'm so excited that this little part of the card showed up on the back and I just got an extra piece that came off of the top of the, the bottom of the card itself cut it down to the exact size and I just tucked it in yeah and just tucked it in. Now, shall we? Shall we?
Good deal. And Arnie, I will I will put you as a moderator um, as soon as I can with um, my other device. <laughs> my um, Chromebook would have to be, I'm sorry you guys, I'm out of the frame. My Chromebook. Lucky Pants is asleep on the Chase Lounge where I usually uh, I'm sitting and I just decided today would be the day to um, do this little car demonstration. Well, you know I sure will, Arnie, when I get on my Chromebook. I am sitting here um, battling um, my cell phone in this tripody like thing and um, my laptop would not be able to do this um, I could not film the details of this little trinket box if I was on the Chromebook now if I had it turned on sitting here beside me while I was doing this you guys I would go ahead and moderate uh, a couple of you and you could do those links for me bless your sweethearts because I I love helping others so you guys see what was happening here I took and folded it Folded that baby just down, just so. This is the top of the box, and this is the top half of the Christmas card. Now we're going to do this one. There. It's already been done. It's already there. And we're going to unfold this. We're going to find that crease right there with our scissors and here we go guys we're going to just go right up to that edge where it, you can feel it click right there and then we're going to come over and do the same on this side hey beverly oh darling it's good to see you too i am just lollygagging around here uh, showing whoops sorry I was out of the frame showing you guys how I make my little trinket boxes uh, recycling Christmas cards this is something that I love to do okay so if you will notice we've got this sharpie point and this sharpie point but I want to crease them real good because this is going to be the um, sides of our top lid of our little trinket box. Okay, now take this part and pull it out. And then pick up your Sharpie edges. Go in with them grab this part that is hanging out here like a like a tongue and push it down you can see how that turned out right there this is making the top of your box turn your work pull this tongue out push in on these get them nice and folded there on that crease do the same thing with this side okay here we go pick up this tongue that's lollygagging out <laughs> you can call it the tongue Thanks, guys, for coming in. Thanks for thumbing up the live. God bless you all. And, guys and gals, I think we did this. I'm just creasing these edges in real good. 
or Kadoki, and I want to uh, take this bottom part of the card. Hi, Miss. Um, oh, wait. Hi, Miss Everybody. <laughs> Hi, I've missed you. I've missed you guys so much because I haven't been able to do um, as many lives as I used to. Okay, so I just cut that off camera. Y'all didn't even see me cut it. I'm sorry. And I'm just going to place it down inside here. This is the top. This is the top of your little box, guys. Are you ready to see what it looks like? Hello, Becky. Lurking and watching. I wish I could do a better illustration on how to make this cute little card, Miss Becky. But this is the top of the card. We've got Christmas bells ringing. And here is the bottom. Let's see, guys, how well this is going to fit in there. You know that the bottom part is a wee bit smaller than the top. Come on, baby. Get yourself in there. You got to work it, guys. Work it. You ready? Ta-da! It's a jingle bell. Christmas holly jolly good old time jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh let's turn okay yes i see what we're doing here y'all give me a second i did cut my nails you haven't noticed yes i did those are so cute well thank you i'm going to turn my bells the way I want them. Okay, that's the that's the way the bells are going to be. Looking at this. There we go. Now to put the lid on. Aha! Now to put the lid on so that it matches with your the top of your card, guys. Ah -ha. Okay, so here is the top of the card. It's a jingle bell. You can see the Christmas bells. You can see the holly and the berries, um, some red ribbon on it. Becky, these are these are, yes, what I usually do. When I have miniature trees, these go in the miniature trees or they sit under the miniature tree as a gift box, like it's a present. Um, I would love to do a, uh, what is that? Um, oh, I just lost, I just, the advent calendars and have 12, um, 25 of these. Yeah, the or do the 12 days of Christmas or 25 and put uh, trinkets in here for my grandchildren. Yes, Beverly, this is this is so nifty. I absolutely love making these. I've been making them for years. I don't know how long I've had this one. It's not in bad shape. And that's one handsome Santa. The older I get, the nicer those Santas look. And I've been good all year. So this one uh, has been made a couple years. I don't know, maybe more. But this card right here that I chopped up and turned into a treasure box was from my sweet mother Bays and my stepdad in 2012 can you believe it i know that's why i have so much unnecessary things in my house i found these in my uh, treasure box of christmas things that i'm working on this is dora beth that yarny zebra 
and guys that's how they make these boxes pretty much so I've got one done and that one was already done and you know you can put them in a keepsake box this is in the old Kentucky chocolates box <laughs> and you know horses that's what Kentucky's all about right there so I've got two pieces left here that can be used um, in another card if I need to and let's see if we can make another one of these um, Christmas fills our hearts with love because God first loved us because of joy because the Savior is our honored guest and peace because our hearts belong to him isn't that a lovely card I love it joyfully yours by day spring I love that oh there we go when the message really matters sweet friends of mine oh I love her handwriting and this is for you all guys may you know the warmth of his presence in your home as you celebrate the holiday season God bless your Christmas that's what it says okay I'm gonna fold this card back and forth it is Kentucky chocolate yeah it's a local thing old Kentucky chocolate Lexington Kentucky I think um, so I'm just folding this hey you can order old Kentucky chocolate it's good good stuff I'm getting this card nice and ready to be separated Step one, fold, crease, and separate your cards. Separate your card. And it pretty much will work for you if you take the time to crease it. Okay, there's the card. Nice and separated. And we do want to square off the card. So I know that with this card, I will be losing a lot of um, the lettering, the words. So I'm, I'm going to go right in the middle here. I'm going to go right in the middle right chair right chair <laughs> I'm gonna go right in the middle I want to see how much of a four and we need to do um, four and a half inches so I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and make my mark on it can you all see what's happening four and a half I'm looking through the the camera actually guys so and that needs to be cut I was using my gizmo my um, fabric cutter and it's not doing a very good job so I have just went to the scissors you guys I've just taken myself right off to the scissors now this is the top of the box and then I know it did take some of the wording away and this is going to be the bottom of the box and I'm seriously going to just go right in the center with this and try to center this we do want the bottom of the box to be smaller than the top definitely are working on making the bottom smaller than the top 
facts of what's going to have to happen. I'm just going to take my um, measurement right here. Y'all can't see that. There it is. It's at four and a half. And we're just going to chop off about an eighth of that card from this side. Just a smidge is going to be removed. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I've moved you right out of the camera again. I'm good at that. I keep forgetting that I have this tripod here. I have to cut this side, too. Let's just get her done. Oh, man. How many of you have done your Christmas shopping? You know what I said about Christmas shopping? What's that? It's been rough. <laughs> it's been rough, guys. My grandbabies are grown. Are growing. They're growing. They're not grown. Y'all see I did make a, a mess with that. Hopefully that'll work. Move all my pieces. Okay, now that that is done, um, I'm going to go ahead and do my centers we're going to do the, oh my you know what this is par, probably part three if we're doing parts step one step two step three I just do it from memory and forget that there's people trying to watch me do this I apologize I'm just on here trying to keep myself from being terribly sad without Mama Bays here. <laughs> I did get on the phone and talk to her already tonight. Love her heart. We did our reading, um, our Bible reading, talked about different things, and yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, get this squared away. Okay, who can say what the next part is? Bring your points to the center. Bring your points. Uh, Ashley, when I fly back on the 12th, I'm going to, I think I'm going to go and get her. From my sisters because I just miss her something terrible um, yeah she said she woke up last night had no idea where she was had a panic attack until she realized she was at my sisters that made me sad but anyway she she does um, she does prefer to be here with me, but sometimes um, we have to change it up a bit. Bless her heart. I know she was, she sleeps with Lucky every night. Lucky is right in the bed. Um, and she kept saying, Where you at, Lucky? Where you at? Where's Mama's baby at? And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, Mama. Okay, we got to bring our points into the center. I'm going to show you guys one more of these, and I'll probably have to skedaddle off of here and get ready for bed. Um, I'm still working on what I'm going to pack for my little trip. I only have uh, a carry-on and a um, medicine bag. All my medical stuff has to be lined out. 
Um, but yeah, I am excited to see them grandbabies. Very excited to see them. Sorry guys, I'm pulling this in just a smidge more because I sometimes, even though you measure it, you'll get where it doesn't want to center properly. I'm hoping that this will still work. Thanks for hanging out with me. I, I know um, Lucky has been missing mother a lot. <laughs> Me too. I mean, um, it's so quiet here. It is so quiet uh, without hearing Mama's voice. Singing, talking, laughing, talking to the kitty, talking to Lucky. Um, she's just a sight. Yeah, she she is chatty patty. <laughs> And I, you know, and I think to myself how um, lonely she must have been living alone uh, at the homestead for so long and not having, you know, anyone. Okay, let's just seriously talk about telemarketers. She would... <laughs> talk to them like they were her best friend and I'm telling you there was people calling her every day trying to sell her something or get her social and she she did jeopardize her social a couple times and we've had to take care of that but you know not any more of that that's not going to be happening not any more of that. So, yeah, she had people sending her garbage in the mail. We weeded out all that kind of spam stuff, have taken care of that process. But, you know, there's so many elderly that are um, confused and just love to hear the phone ring, love to hear a voice, and they will jabber and talk and tell them private stuff that is none of their business because they want to take advantage of the elderly. So it's been really um, interesting. When my phone goes off, she'll say, let me get it. Let me get it. You better get that. Yeah. Let me get that phone, she'd say. And, yeah, uh, it's just been a real struggle. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut. Oh, wait, let me get in the screen. Cut this up to that little line. Come on, get in there. Mm. There it is, sorry. Yep, that's done. You don't um, cut it from all sides, just the sides opposite each other. Only four cuts, only four cuts, guys, opposite each other. Okay, I'm going to pop this down, pull this tongue loose down in here. That's what I'm calling that, the tongue. And here we go with our sharp, sharp teeth. I'm gonna fold them in, crease them real good, and then stick them together. Put them together. This is how they go together. This is part of your box top. Fold that down real snug. Crease it. That part is done.
return your work. Pull this tongue out and take these. Crease them real good, both sides. Crease that. Guys, the wind is blowing so crazy. I could hear that. Did you know that it was thundering and lightning here earlier when I was on the phone with Mother? Yeah, in December. Thunder and lightning. Okay, guys, this part is done. This is going to be the top. It's not very creative, I know. You can see a fireplace on the side and a wreath and some nativity or something up there. And the words are just barely visible. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you, it is scammy. People will do everything to try to um, get, get their identity, get their money. Oh, my goodness, it's crazy. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and make me a, a little thing to fit in there. I'm going to fold that down so I'll know where to cut it. And I'm, I'm over here cutting out of the camera. I'm sorry. Thanks for coming in, everybody, and keeping me company tonight. That's what I'm saying. And I'm telling you, I probably cut this too big. So I'm going to take and trim off some more. You got to do what you got to do now. Let's see if it fits now. Not yet. It said not yet. I'm not ready to fit in there. I know I didn't measure very well, but now I think we got it. Yeah, there it is. So, you know, we got carried away and didn't even do this one yet. We got to get our point system. We got to get our point straightened out, y'all. Let's get that done. Bring those points to the center here. Right there. Focus right in and get it centered. Oh, holy night. It is the night of my dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining to he appears and the soul felt its worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn fall on your knees oh he The angel voice says, Oh, night, 
fail. Somebody fail? Oh no. Praying for that person. Sending up prayers. Sending up prayers. Let's cut it on the crease here so we can get this thing folded. I think we're good. And this side. Hoping that the rain stops so I can take Mr. Lucky Pants out for the for his night potty. Okay, guys, that's probably what's going to happen when I finish this one. I'm going to pull this tongue down, put these up here and crease down on them, turn them, bringing them together. Pick up this tongue and fold it down over that. Let me see what's happening. I hear you down there, Lucky. Mr. Lucky Pants is in the floor. He's probably thinking, what's going on? Where's my ma? Um, my mother feeds him off the table, guys. He thinks that every time we sit down at the table to eat, he needs to get in his spot so he can have whatever mother is reaching him. 
Okay, this, this side is done. We're creasing it down, folding it down. Guys, I hope this one fits. It was a little more difficult to square this thing up than it was the other one. However, I'm trying to see which one of these will fit in here. Nice and snug. Probably this one on this side. I may have cut that too small. We'll find out. Mm, yeah, it's a little bit on the short side. Okay, let's see if it will work. Here's the top. Let's get her started. Oh my goodness, there it is. And the words can be read when the message really matters. Of course, we can't read the message on this one because it was made so different. But there is the fireplace, a wreath. You know, this is a Christmas card, you all. There you go. It's card number three it turned into a keepsake box. I got a lot of... Um, paper scraps to put away it's three boxes down and many to go this is the way you recycle your used Christmas cards that you get over the years I love it I love it look how cute this one is Oh, you're so welcome, Tina. I I need to do a very simple, don't talk myself um, crazy and interrupt the process of learning. Yeah, I need to do that because I am very good at getting distracted and talking when I should be showing you guys how to do this. But the card... First thing you do is crease it on the fold and continue to crease it real good until you can just pull them apart or you can cut them. It's up to you. Yeah, that's step one is to crease the card and then you get it nice and easy to come apart right here. Step one, get those cards separated. Get the card separated into two pieces. Yeah. And then you do your squared away. See how big it is. It's just a little over four and a half. A little bit over four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. You get your four and a half inches. And I like to center my card to where this pretty um, part will be absolutely right slap dab in the center. It's easy to do it once you've been doing it for a while. Um, you'll be able to figure out how to um, focus and get it directly centered and, and if you have to put your top or bottom part of the card right up in here and just mark it it's hard to mark it because I've got it flipped 
so that I can see where the center piece of the card is. But a little crease is going to be okay. A little crease down through here. This is addictive. Um, you can go to the Dollar Tree and get you a whole box of cards on clearance um, or Dollar General, wherever. Get a whole box of cards on clearance after the season. And good grief, you all have cards for days, so you don't have to use recycled cards. But I love to use the recycled ones because you know... If you remember who that sweet person is that sent you the card, you can put their name and date on the inside um, where you are getting ready to um, make your little piece to go inside. You can flip it over and put from um, Brother John 2010. Or whatever, you know, so you'll have that um, piece and you'll know who did it, who sent it. And it's a blessing. It is such a blessing. I love this part of the card. So I'm really trying to focus it so that I can use that part. <laughs> I'm going to use that part to show up on the bottom. That is interesting, but I think I can do it. I truly think I might be able to do it, you all. For real, I joke not. I think I might be able to do it. Or at least get it close. Yes, I can. Look at that. Now, the ones with all of the glittery stuff on it, you can still do them. You just have to be careful you don't get uh, the glitter everywhere as you fold and bend and do what you need to do. Um, true fact. Anywho, God bless you all real big. Um, I'll try to show you a, a few more of these when I get them done. Um... Me and this tripod have wrestled tonight, and I will be having to use those heavy scissors to uh, get the zip tie off of my phone and the tripod. <laughs> just telling it like it is, just telling it like it is. Um, so, you guys, I just am so thankful for you. Um, for keeping me company this Sunday night. And remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. What sugar? What, baby? Yeah, sugar is over here talking. Good night and God bless you all, everyone. Remember, Jesus loves you. We are indeed his favorite. And I just love to celebrate celebrate Jesus every day, not just during the holidays. How about that? Take care of yourselves. I will show you my little boxes one more time. Oh my goodness. I'm getting into it. I'm getting into it. Look at those cute little boxes. There's Santa. Yeah. This one is the smallest one. It's Jingle Bells. Okay, guys. Focus. Focus, focus. And God bless you all so much. Have a wonderful night. <laughs>